Hey guys, Brent Contreras here. Uh, today's video is on the goblet squat. This is an awesome exercise that everyone should do um, either as part of their warm up or as part of a strengthening routine. And it was popularized by Dan Jock. He's a legend in the strength and conditioning industry. And uh, basically it goes like this. So uh, you can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell, but uh, since more, more people have access to dumbbells, I'm going to show you how to do it with the dumbbell. Just going to turn the, uh, the dumbbell uh, upside down like this, hold on to the top of the plate. Now I'm going to pinch my elbows together so they're not out wide because my elbows are going to track inside of my legs. So get a comfortable squat stance. You don't want it too wide because you're going deep, uh, but you want it wide enough to where you, know, you can sink down in between your hips. You can keep the feet anywhere from straight to around a 30 degree angle. Uh, just get what's comfortable for you. <clears throat> Again, hold the dumbbell up your chest. You don't hold it away from you. Keep it up your chest. Tuck your elbows in. Keep the chest up. Now I'm going to sink as low as I can while forcing the knees out. One of the reasons why this exercise is so good is because um, I have to get the knees out. If I don't get the knees out, and I keep them in, my elbows are going to hit. So it's a great uh, teaching exercise for good squat form because I have to sink my elbows in between my knees. Now don't cave down here. Keep the, up, the upper chest, keep it, keep it tall. And this way you're going to keep a strong arch, drive through the heels, come back up. So again, I'm going to do three reps from straight on. Sink down, come up. Sink down, come up. And now I'm going to turn to the side. Okay? Again, this is the goblet squat. It's an excellent exercise. Beginners should do it as a strengthening exercise, or advanced people should do it as part of their dynamic warm up.